I want to welcome on our stage our next uh, guest. So please welcome the head of innovation for the Iberia market, Adendesa, Jose Minguez. Jose. Hello. Nice to meet you. There you go. How are you doing, Jose? Please stay. Well, let's take a seat. And we're still waiting for one of the connections, I believe. Yeah. So, Jose. Uh, as you say, uh, I'm very proud to present you uh, three projects. Uh, we, are, we are very happy with them. Uh, three examples of open innovation. And, and first, let me introduce you uh, Joan Miquel Angles, sales director and co-founder of Energy. He's very passionate for weather uh, forecasting and uh, renewables. And please tell us how you mix these two uh, passions to improve the, the stabilization of the grid and the, and the implementation of uh, renewables on the grid, please. Uh, thank, for, thank you for the presentation. Uh, yes, of course, uh, uh, unfortunately or not, the, the, the weather, uh, the, the renewable energies are strongly linked to the weather and the climate behavior. So what, uh, what we are doing in energy is uh, facing this challenge to uh, manage the variability and the intermittency of the, of the weather sources uh, in order to convert this energy, this power, into power, uh, electricity, power into the grid. So mainly what, what we do in energy, we are helping power uh, producers and power utilities uh, in managing the operation of their wind and solar power assets uh, in uh, through our and we lost. for example I want to highlight the, uh, our application Sentinel uh, which uh, it's, uh, it's really focused on, on solar PV technologies and it's able to uh, monitor uh, uh, thousands of PV systems that are distributed in the or in a high and uh, big territories, and uh, and, not, and monitor that uh, that those thousands of systems, and then analyze them and provide uh, uh, the information uh, necessary to operate them and optimize the their performance. Thank you very much. Yeah. We are very proud of your of the project you are doing. And now let me introduce you to Ainoa Thib. She's the CEO and co-founder of Carton Space, a satellite imagery analytics company that uses remote sensing techniques, deep learning, and artificial intelligence to turn satellite imagery into value added business. With this presentation, I, I know uh, the floor is yours. Uh, tell us what you are doing and what you're doing with, with Enel Group. Hey, yeah, thank you so much, Jose. Uh, well, Carton Space uh, delivers global scale detection and monitoring solutions for satellite imagery. So the first time that we were in the Argentina and this time was in the Madrid, we presented our solution monitoring solution for planning the cutting and planning tasks in the electrical line forward. And thanks to that meeting, we started to work for an annual group in other future cases, but now part of our service group. Uh, in fact, currently we are working for a two different projects for the España, but also for an NEL Global um, I, I want to tell you a little bit more about our uh, story with NEL Global in Romania. So, as you may know, a uh, very relevant part in the NEL network commercial operations business is related to the, to the non technical uses, search, and mitigation. And in that context, uh, we developed a global scale technology consisted of building an intelligent model that can, that can quickly identify, detect, and extract relevant future signature rights that, that, that are directly related to those non technical uses. So, as you can imagine, the importance of the artificial intelligence for us was that we could do it in a faster way than with the non traditional methodology. And allowing us to help them to detect electrical flow in any part of the world in a very short period of time. So, this project is now in its final steps, but as I told you before, uh, since one year, one year ago, we are also working for the España. And I'm very proud to say that uh, this project has been extended for one year or more, and all, not only in Spain, but also in Portugal, which is very important for us because that means that we will 
we are, we are offering uh, a distributions for our clients and also that we are performing a quality job for them. So what I can say is that the trust that the Mela members have placed in us continues today, allowing us to grow in the international market and also with new clients for our state-based solutions for energy market. As you see two examples of technology, open innovation and collaboration with startups, but open innovation is not only about the startups. And now please let me talk to you about Confia project. Two years ago here in South Summit, I said in a, in a blockchain panel that we were really committed to develop a really cool and good project about blockchain. Well, I have to uh, tell you that this time has come. Uh, this last September, we turned on a Confia project. And let me explain to you what is Confia. Confia is a, a, a network which, uh, between public administrations, uh, electricity companies, regional authorities, social services, city clients, and client, a blockchain network where we are say, sharing really uh, information. This way, every of the, of the role players have a little piece of the puzzle. Together, we have in real time all this information, of course, taking care of data protection, taking care of cybersecurity, because this, this uh, project aims to improve the operations for the, our most vulnerable clients. So at the end, what we are doing is developing a network that helps the social services to do better their job and focus on the most uh, vulnerable clients. We uh, hope Confia, which is trust in, in Spanish, of course, is really a, a good use case for blockchain because we have a, a network, we safely interact uh, the operation with them we give trust to, to parties that they don't have a, a, a trust in this kind of information. We share the information, we trace the information, and of course, taking care of, the, of this inf uh, information. And as you can see, this is an example of innovability, innovation that pushes sustainability. In this case, for the most vulnerable clients, we are really pushing uh, this, this project. We hope to have it in, in, in production uh, in, the, in the following months. Now, there are six city councils uh, uh, testing the, the platform with real data. This is not a proof of concept. This is really uh, coming true. And this project has been developed by two vendors, the University of Malaga, Alastra is helping us, and, and, and also the City Council of Malaga. So as you can see, three examples of open innovation, very different, one from each other. And thank you very much. Thank you, Jose, for being here and sharing the stage with us. It was a great pleasure having you here. You know, I'll tell you a story about this. Um, I don't know if I know I remember, but I met Carten when they were very, 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 very tiny, starting up in Asturias, when they were like just nearly an idea. And it's a pleasure actually watching them grow in such a hard uh, industry as, as space technology. This proves that when a startup does a really good job and, and they really make business and focus on business, they can give a lot, they can give a lot of value to, to the big corporations. Yep, definitely. Or it can prove that you have to meet me first and then grow, <laughs> right? <laughs> well, say, thank you very much for your time. Thank you very much, guys, for being connected. You, pleasure having you.